Okay, so Sony has released their first trailer for their new Morbius uh, film. And uh, it's, I mean, the trailer itself is, well, it's okay. Um, it, uh, it looks like it's, like, taking itself a bit more seriously than Venom. Like, it's actually, like, trying to be a movie. Will it, it succeed at that? Um, well, it, it'll definitely be a movie, but will it be a good movie? <laughs> That's the question. I don't know. I mean, I mean, yeah, it looks interesting. Um, I don't know anything about Morbius, so I guess it looks like uh, he was a scientist, and uh, now he is, <laughs> and he's he is sick with a blood disease, and so he tried to to cure himself, but it went all horribly wrong, or horribly right potentially, because maybe he'll come to accept uh, his vampire self. Um, and uh, yeah, so he's so he's so he's a vampire, but he was a vampire because of an experiment gone wrong. Now he's like not an actual vampire. Um, and uh, yeah, the the movie itself looks interesting, but obviously the more <laughs> the most interesting aspect of the trailer is the fact that it does appear to be the case that the Venom verse <laughs> is crossing over with the MCU. Um, and by the way, I kind of called this was happening because, uh, I, I made a video before because Kevin Feige, uh, he made this really weird comment, uh, in an interview where he, I don't remember the exact quote, but he said something about Spider-Man being the only character that can cross universes. And that was a really weird comment. And it kind of got me thinking... Um, so, like, is, like, is Spider-Man going to cross, be, like, be in the Venomverse and in the MCU as well? And it does appear that that might end up being the case, because, of course, so it's actually really weird, <laughs> because, so there's the bit in the trailer where, um, Morbius is walking down an alleyway, and you see, you see Spider-Man being graffitied onto a wall, and it says murderer. So... The fact that it says murderer definitely, um, kind of it tells us that it, it does look like this is going to be the Tom Holland Spider-Man, because obviously at the end of Far From Home, uh, Mysterio told the world that Spider-Man killed him. Um, so it makes sense that people would have, uh, ill will towards Spider-Man, and yeah, so it kind of, it definitely seems to be picking up from where Spider-Man Far From Home left off. But the weird thing about it is that it's the Sam Raimi costume, which is really weird. I now I I'm just guessing that that's just gonna be like a bit of an Easter egg, and that that's just like a, a design that a graffiti artist made. Um, I I don't think I I'm I'm just gonna assume that it's not that it, it it's, it's that like that is actually just an Easter egg, and that we're not getting like the Tobey Maguire. Uh, Spider-Man involved in this. Like, I don't think it's going to be a Spider-Verse situation. I think that's that. That's just how the graffiti artist drew Spider-Man. I don't, I don't, I mean, I, I could be wrong, but I don't think this is actually going to mean that uh, Tobey Maguire is going to show up in this as well. Um, so there's that. And then, of course, we have uh, Michael Keaton showing up as Vulture. Um, and he, it, like, it's, uh, it's like the same, uh, prison outfit that we saw at the end of Homecoming. So, <laughs> it does appear to be the case that the Venomverse is going to be crossing over with the MCU. And there are basically two ways that this can go. So, the first way that this can go... Um, and this is all, I, I'm assuming that this was all decided on when Marvel and Sony met up, because if, if you remember, um, uh, basically Disney backed out of the, out of their contract, uh, to have Spider-Man appear in the MCU because they wanted, they, they wanted more, um, I think, that, yeah, they wanted, they wanted to finance, uh, this more, be, they wanted to help finance the Spider-Man movies and they wanted more control of the character. And Sony was basically, nah, bro, uh, stay in your lane. And then they kind of reached an impasse, um, and they just abruptly announced that Spider-Man would no longer be in the MCU. And uh, then, basically after the fans uh, 
uh, expectantly went into an uproar, um, they kind of met back together and they signed a new um, limited time contract uh, where I think it was basically, I think, I think the contract uh, stated that Spider-Man would be appearing in two, in two more MCU movies and in one more standalone film. Um, so, and so, so that's where the contract stands, right? And there are two ways that now this can all play out. It could play out in the way, in a sense, in the, in a way that they are slowly, um, uh, they're basically retconning and saying that, um, Venom and, and Morbius, um, is going to be in the MCU, and that's just kind of their way of making the transition of Spider-Man being out of the MCU seem a bit more natural or, and, or palatable. Um, so basically, they're just going to be in the MCU for a little bit, then they're going to introduce... Then, and and Sp I'm assuming Spider-Man is probably going to show up in Venom 2 to a certain extent. And then once... Um, once the next Spider-Man movie uh, is finished and Spider-Man is in the, the, the two other MCU movies, then uh, the Venomverse is just going to be like, okay, we're out. Uh, we're, we're, going, we're, we're going back and doing our own thing. Um, so I think that's one possibility. The second possibility is, I think is less likely, but I still think might end up being the case. And the second possibility is that the Venom verse might just be treated kind of like the Defenders, like the Netflix verse, and like the Agents of Shield verse, in the sense that, yeah, they're in the MCU, but they're not really in the MCU. Like, the MCU is never really going to acknowledge their existence, but they will acknowledge the MCU's existence. I'm thinking that that might also be a possibility, and basically, the only character that will um, step into both universes is um, is Spider-Man. It is the Tom Holland Spider-Man. Um, that might end up being um, that might also end up being the case, and that might also be substantiated by the fact that um, I think now Marvel is is co-financing the Spider-Man MCU films. Um, or at least the, the last one that they're making. Unless, because uh, that's also the thing, they could also renew their contract, uh, which would then uh, substantiate the second possibility. Um, because Marvel will be um, uh, co-financing the last Spider-Man movie, and part of the deal might have been Sony going, okay, we'll let you co-finance it, but we're also, we're going to want to bring um, the Venomverse into the MCU. Like, that is also a possibility here. Um... I still think the first one is more likely and that they're just kind of trying to have more of a graceful exit of Spider-Man out of the MCU, but the second po the second possibility could also be the case. Um, I don't know. I, I think those are really the only two possibilities. Like, I highly doubt that they're going to have the Venomverse be like a real integral part of the MCU just because Kevin Feige wants control over his universe and having to deal with Sony as well as everything else. I think, I think, I, I, I don't think that Kevin Feige would want to do that. Um, I, uh, so yeah, but this is all really weird. It's all really interesting. And I did kind of call it out. I, 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 I predicted that this might end up happening. So, um, I'll, I'll leave a link to that video if you would, if you want to, um, humor me in my self-indulgence. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, Morbius looks interesting, and honestly, like, part of me, I'm kind of like, yo, let's go, let's bring everything together, man, like, I didn't particularly like Venom, but I'm like, you know what, whatever, who cares, throw him in the MCU, because here's the thing, here, here's the thing, a lot of people are, <laughs> are, are, uh, worried about this, because they don't want, uh, like, Venom to tarnish the, the MCU, or the Venomverse to tarnish the MCU, but my perspective on this is that I got Endgame. I got a satisfying conclusion to the Infinity Saga. I'm I'm good. So and this could all burn to the ground for all I care at this point. So whatever. Bring in Venom. 
bring in Morbius, <laughs> bring in whatever the whatever the Silver Sable Black Cat movie that way they wanted to make at some point. Bring it all in. Let's uh, let 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 us all swim in the same pool together, and then let us all uh, also burn uh, in this pool, even though there's water. But let's all burn. It will boil alive. All together, the MCU and the Venomverse, it all come crashing down. But I will not care, because I got Endgame. I got my satisfying conclusion. So, whatever. The Eternals can be terrible, Shang-Chi can be terrible, uh, the, the, this whole Venomverse <laughs> crossing over with Spider-Man situation could be horrible. I don't care. I got, I, I'm good. I'm good at this point. I kind of want, like, I kind of want it all to come crashing down to the ground. You know? I'm like Joker in the Dark Knight. You know? Some men just want to watch, some men just want to, want, want to watch the world burn, or whatever Michael Caine said in that, in, in that quote. I want it all to die! <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Uh, in all seriousness, I'm kind of excited to see it. Like, like there was a grain of truth into what I was <laughs> into what I was ranting about before. Like, like I'm, after Endgame, I'm good. Go crazy. To go do whatever you want. I I, I kind of don't care. <laughs> like sure, br bring them all in. Who who cares? Um, but yeah. Uh, what do you think about all this? Are you excited? Are you worried? Um, do you kind of agree with me? Where there are kind of two ways that this could all play out. Um. I'll be very interested to see how this all plays out, you know? Um, I wasn't particularly excited about Morbius. Um, I wouldn't say I'm more excited now, but I'm definitely more interested. So, uh, yeah. That's basically going to be it for this video. Bye.